Hey what is up you guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm just going to cover something that I've had a couple of questions on and it's to do with a video of um, a 3D model of the First Order Stormtrooper that I did in a video a long time ago, maybe a year ago. Uh, a couple of questions where people have asked me how to uh, import it into Cinema 4D with textures so I've the um, Solve that issue for you. All you need to do is just head over to my Sketchfab page. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And I have the model here already uploaded to the page. So all you have to do is just click on it. It is downloadable completely free. So you're going to go ahead, click download, click on original format, FBX. It's going to give that a couple of seconds to download. Okay, I'm going to open that file, extract to, uh, it's going to quickly put this onto my desktop, first door stormtrooper, okay, that is done, open up Cinema 4D, go to file, merge, go to the folder you extracted to, double click, trooper, click OK, 3, 2, 1, and boom, there it is. It is inside Cinema 4D, textured, but it is unrigged. All right, so if you guys know how to rig this model inside Cinema 4D, then it's all good. If you don't know how to rig it, I could show you that in another video, but uh, this is just basically if you want the model textured without having to individually apply the textures to each of these materials, like I did. So I did. I've already done that for you, saved you a couple of minutes of your time. You're welcome. All right, but I've, I did have some people ask me questions on how to import it with textures, and there you go. I've done the job for you. Um, all right, so if you guys want me to do a video on how to rig it, you can um, go ahead and do it yourself, actually. All I use is Mixmo.com. It's a free uh, website. Um, you just basically import this model and uh, it will rig it for you Um I could actually do that now while I'm here so yeah why not let's go ahead so that model you've just downloaded it now we want to go over to mixamo.com just need to log in you can create a free account completely free Give me a couple of minutes. All right. Now we are logged in. Mixmo is awesome though. You can uh, rig it with like T-Pos or whatever, but there's also all these other animations as well and it is so good. And it also comes with free characters so you can knock yourself out with it. It's really cool. Anyway, so click to upload character, select character file. Locate once again your trooper. I can guarantee this is not going to work now. This is going to piss me off. But if it does work, then that'll be amazing. Because usually when it comes to recording, things just start failing and it really frustrates me. Hopefully you know, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Weird. Huh. Yeah, I should also mention that it'll take a minute to uh, <clears throat> process it, upload it, and stuff. But, uh, Why is this? Seems dodgy. Alright, sorry about that. And uh, just watch me wait for a sec. <clears throat> um, okay, so we kinda have an issue actually. We have its weapon there. So I don't think that will matter, so don't worry about it. 
we're going to go ahead and make. So we're going to click next. And we are going to find the chin. All right. Oh, we do have an issue. See what I mean, though? Here's my uh, issue I have here. See this line here? It's because we're using symmetry. So if you wanted to, like, do elbows, it's not going to match up with his elbow. So we can uncheck that and then just manually find the elbows and just uh, hope for the best that this is going to work. Uh, that is not the elbows, actually. We are locating the wrists. Now the elbows. Knees. Then the groin. All right. Click next again. Fingers crossed. Let's see uh, what this does for us. Okay. So while this is uh, going through the process, it can take up to two minutes. Uh, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, leave any comments if you still got any questions for me. Um, I'd happily try my best to answer them. And if you are new to the channel, hit subscribe. Oh, you might not want to now because we have our we have an error. And I don't really know why. So this video is kind of uh, no good now. But at least you've got a uh, textured version of the Stormtrooper, which is what you guys wanted, right? It's exactly what you wanted. Uh, let's just quickly make a scene because I just love doing this. So we're going to have a reflective floor. This is what I do 99% of the time when I uh, just create a quick render. Put a light in there with the uh, ray trace. Don't worry about that. But yeah, that's cool. Cool, right? Just change it to soft. We're gonna just duplicate the light a quick second. I have one red. Have the other blue. I always do this, and I think it looks really cool. There you go. How nice does that look? Awesome, isn't it? It was so easy to do. Awesome. All right, so um, in terms of auto-rigging it with Mixamo, I don't know what the issue is there, but um, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys, this will help you for getting your textured version of the Stormtrooper. Obviously, if you want to get it rigged, then it's going to be no use for you to put it into Mixamo and stuff. Um, so I don't really know what the issue is there, unless you know how to rig a character inside of Cinema 4D using the character. Is it character? Yeah, you can build um, a character like ball the bones and stuff, but I don't know how to do that. All right, well, thanks for watching anyway. Might be in a shit video. I don't know. But if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Comments down below would be appreciated. Um, yeah, subscribe as well would also help me out and the channel very, very much. So uh, see you in the next video. All right.